Chapter 8, Lesson 2, Area of a Circle. You will learn how to find the area of a circle as well as the area of a semicircle. The area of a circle equals the product of pi and the square of its radius, a equals pi r squared. Find the area of the circle, use 3.14 for pi. We're going to start by writing our formula. Area equals pi r squared. In the diagram, we are given the radius, which is 2. And in the directions, it tells us to use 3.14 for pi. Area equals 3.14 times the radius of 2 squared. Now our order of operations tells us that we need to do exponents before we do multiplication. So we need to take care of 2 squared first. And 2 squared is 2 times 2, or 4. Area equals, bring down 3.14, and multiply it by 4. Now, for this lesson, I want you to use your calculator just so we can speed up the process a little bit. So on your calculator, you're going to type in 3.14 times 4, and your area is 12.56. Your units are inches. It doesn't tell us to round to anything specific, so we can leave our answer as is. Letter B. Find the area of a circle with a radius of 14 centimeters. Use 22 sevenths for pi. Area equals pi r squared. Area equals, we're using 22 sevenths for pi this time. And our radius is 14, so 14 squared. Again, we first need to take care of 14 squared which is the same thing as 14 times 14. On your calculator, type in 14 times 14, and you will get 196. So 22 sevenths times 196. Because we have a fraction here, let's put the 196 over 1. And we need to multiply our numerators and the denominators. 22 times 196, 4,312, and 7 times 1 is 7. Fractions are division, so 4,312 divided by 7, we get an area of 616, the unit of measure is centimeters. I'm okay that you are using a calculator for this lesson, but you need to make sure you are showing all the steps just as I did. Letter C. Find the area of a circle with a radius of 3.2 centimeters, use 3.14 for pi, and round to the nearest tenth. Area equals pi r squared. Area equals 3.14 times the radius of 3.2 squared. Take care of your exponent first. So bring down 3.14. 3.2 squared is the same thing as 3.2 times 3.2, which is 10.24. Then we can multiply. 10.24 times 3.14, and we get 32.1536. It says to round to the nearest tenth. One is in the tenths place. Look next door. Area equals 32.2 centimeters. When that number next door to our place value is 5 or more, we have to add 1 to the previous digit.
which is where we got the two from. Letter D. Find the area of the face of the Virginia quarter with a diameter of 24 millimeters. Use 3.14 for pi. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So we're going to start off with our formula. Area equals pi r squared. Area equals, we're using 3.14 for pi. But there's a problem. We do not have the radius. What we do have is the diameter. To find the radius, radius equals one half the diameter, radius equals one half of 24, and a half of 24 is 12. So what we're plugging into our area formula is 12 because we must put in the radius. So over here is 12 squared. We need to take care of the exponent first. 12 squared is 144. Bring down your multiplication of 3.14. Area equals. Now multiply 3.14 times 144. 452. 0.16. It does say round to the nearest tenth. One is in the tenths place. Area equals 452.2 millimeters. A semicircle is half of a circle. The formula for the area of a semicircle is area equals one half pi r squared. So the area of the entire circle is pi r squared, and since a semicircle is half of that, all we're doing is putting half in front of that formula. Find the area of the semicircle, use 3.14 for pi, and round to the nearest tenth. If you look at the diagram, we are not given the radius, but we must use radius for our area formula. We are given the diameter, so we need to find the radius. Radius equals one half the diameter. Radius equals one half of 16. Half of 16 is eight, so the radius is eight inches. Now that we have the radius, we can go to our area formula. Because we are dealing again with semicircles, Area is one half pi r squared. If you prefer, you could plug in 0 0.5 for one half. So let's go ahead and do that. Area equals 0 0.5 times 3.14 for pi times our radius of 8 squared. We still have to do the exponent first. So area equals, bring down your other numbers, 0 0.5 times 3.14, and 8 squared is the same as 8 times 8, which is 64. Now on your calculator, you can type in all three numbers at once. 0 0.5 times 3.14 times 64, gives an answer of 100.48. We need to round to the nearest tenths place. So my answer is area equals 100.5 inches. Letter B. Find the approximate area of a semicircle with a radius of 6 centimeters. Use 3.14 for pi. Round to the nearest tenth. Again, we're dealing with a semicircle, so area equals half pi r squared. We're given radius, so we don't need to do any extra steps. Area equals, again, I'm going to replace one half with 0.5. 
pi I'm going to replace with 3.14, and the radius is 6 squared. Take care of the 6 squared first. 0 0.5 times 3.14, and 6 squared is the same as 6 times 6, which is 36. On your calculator, plug in all of the numbers, 0 0.5 times 3.14 times 36 and you will get an answer of 56.52. So let's round to the nearest tenth which is that five. Area equals 56.5 and the units are centimeters. Letter C. Rondell draws the semicircle shown at the right. What is the area of the semicircle? Use 3.14 for pi. We're given the radius, so we don't have to do any extra steps. Area equals, it's a semicircle, so half pi r squared. Area equals 0 0.5 times 3.14 times 14 squared. We need to take care of 14 squared first. So on your calculator, 14 times 14 is 196. And bring down the rest of the numbers. Now we have multiplication left. So 0 0.5 times 3.14 times 196 is 307.72. It does not say to round, so we can leave our answer as is, and the unit is in yards. Letter D, find the area of the semicircle. Use 3.14 for pi, round to the nearest tenth. We're given the radius, so no extra work needed. It is a semicircle, so area equals one half pi r squared. Area equals 0 0.5 times 3.14, and the radius is 12. And we square it. Again, take care of your exponent first. 12 squared is 144. Carry down the other two numbers. All that's left is multiplication, so 0 0.5 times 3.14 times 144 is 226.08. It does say to the round to the nearest tenth, the zero's in the tenths place, so area equals 226.1 inches. That's the end of lesson two. I think this one